Good morning from Northern Dancer 5. I'm back on the boat. It's July 10th and I got in late last night. Uh, good news and bad news. I'll start with the bad news. I'm here by myself. Uh, the good news is that Devlin will be here in just a few days. Well, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I came downstairs to get out of the sun for a minute. I'm not sure if you can see how much I'm sweating, but I'll probably be five pounds lighter, I think, by the end of the day. And uh, yeah, I just came downstairs to get some lunch, but I've got all the covers removed. I left the one cover on the front of the Dodger to give me some shade in the cockpit because the sun's on the front of the boat right now, so that'll help with uh, keeping it a little cooler in there. Well, it's dinner time and I'm giving up on the outboard for now. I just can't get it to crank over, you know, when I pull the uh, uh, starter cord, it won't turn. So it's either the flywheel for that or it's uh, worse, one of the cylinders maybe seized up. If that's the case, it's probably going to be a... Well, I don't know if I can fix it then. Um, yeah, so I'm getting hungry and tired and hot, and uh, I figured it's a good time to stop. Defeated by the outboard today. <laughs> it's the first time in a while. Not a ton of filming on the first day, but getting a few things done. Had a couple of visitors come by that I hadn't seen in a while. And uh, yeah, a good first day. It'll be better once I'm uh, in Vancouver and Devlin's aboard and we can do some uh, exploring. So it's the next day, and you guys might remember Tim. It's becoming a regular on the channel. Good morning. <laughs> and where are we? We are at the Ladysmith Maritime Society Docks and Museum, and we're about to go out on the water. And we're going to take a, a vintage little boat out, a little wooden boat called the Sudbury. And it's got a little single-cylinder diesel engine, and we'll be taking part in Heritage Boat Parade with Oh, quite a few other boats. There we are, we can leave it in the middle. Okay. Perfect. Okay. That'll do lovely. Yeah. Excellent. So what we've got here is a single cylinder Volvo MD1B diesel. And it's not the original engine. We used to have a universal red. Uh, no. Blue jacket, I think it was. But unfortunately, the boat sunk and the engine was not recoverable. And so we re engined it with this uh, little Volvo. Nice, and I saw in the video of your interview, it's uh, there's an interesting way to start this. Yeah. Well, so, how does that work? It's 
got a cold start thing here that you push down and get the throttle about halfway up. Make sure she's in neutral. And then under here there's a decompressor lever. And you can start this with a handle. It has got a handle at the front there. So you don't need any electrics, just <laughs> drop the valve and off you go. At least that's the theory. All right, here we go. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but uh, I'm driving a 1941 boat. The motor's a bit newer, one cylinder, and Tim and I are going right to the dentist after to get our fillings put back in. <laughs> but this is fun. Nobody died, nothing broke. <laughs> and we had good weather. You see that? We had lovely weather. So the society here doesn't just restore boats. No, no. no we, uh... Well, it's primarily things that are associated with boats or the maritime industry. Coastal history? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, or the logging industry, which is how we got the locomotive. Right. And the uh, cars, the boat cars here. Yeah. And then we've got another little snow plough at the top there, well, I'll say little. What are we looking at over here? This uh, black and yellow guy here. It's, uh, it's, it's local name is a Humdurgen and it was actually designed by, I think it was a Danish guy and um, it based on an old gear driven locomotive underneath the frame but it was used to knock logs off of log um, cars. cars so this arm comes out sideways and knocks the cargo off oh. But it's called a Humdurgan 
because he wanted to call it a humdinger, but he couldn't say humdinger, so he called it humdruven. So. <laughs> and the name stuck. Yeah. So the uh, society is restored and it is now in running order. It's got a big old gas engine in there and we can run up and down the rails. And... Well, that was really fun. <laughs> got to go in a classic wooden boat parade. There's a whole festival down there actually. There was live music and all the boats are on display uh, down at the Ladysmith Marina. So many cool old wooden boats there and the shop up top. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't like spending a Sunday doing boat stuff? Tim's got some commitments there for the rest of the day, so I said, I'll just walk back. And I found this old train track, a rail track that uh, goes through the woods along the waterfront, and it'll eventually hook up to the road that my marina's on. It's probably only like one or two kilometers, so. I'm going to just enjoy this walk back to the marina and get a few more things done on the boat. Oh, almost there. It's not very far, it's just really hot. I guess I'm not used to it living up in the north and yeah, I gotta also remember to hydrate because uh, you get out on that water, you get a little breeze and you forget that you're getting baked out there. Well, I survived the heat and made it back to the boat. You can see that I had to switch my shirt because uh, the other one was just drenched. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed the parade uh, of the classic boats. Tomorrow I'm heading out, I'm gonna start making my way to Vancouver. I could do it in one shot from Ladysmith to Vancouver, but I may as well take a couple days to do it. Devlin will be there on Wednesday. That's it. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. <laughs>